So hello what's up everyone here is Atlet and today's video is a simple tutorial to teach you how to install and use Mercury in order to get mods like Chimera or Copyball. So a lot of people have been joining to our Discord server recently and they are struggling a little bit to install these mods so I will try to keep things simple and take you over the basics of Mercury. Let's begin! There is a requirement before getting started with this video, you have to install Hello Customization version 1.10 in your machine before following me, so if you don't have any kind of idea about how to do that, you can join our Discord server and go here over the Hello Customization section, and here you'll find a guide about how to install Hello Customization the way as I say. So after getting these steps done, you can come back to this video and follow the things that I'm going to be doing. So the next thing is to get into the Mercury official page. And here you'll find a download link, a download button I mean, that will bring you to the GitHub releases page with download links for the installer of Mercury. So you have to install the you have to download the installer that matches your operative system. In my case is Windows 64 bits. Click on it. And probably your Windows machine can complain about Mercury being a suspicious file. So as Mercury is not digitally signed, it can trigger some alerts into your into your system. But uh, I would encourage you to click here on more information and then execute anyways. Uh, if you don't trust Mercury, you can take a look to the Mercury source code. Mercury is open source, you can compile it by yourself if you don't trust the installer. So uh, as I say, I would encourage you to just follow the installer. Mercury is not doing any kind of harmful thing to your computer. So. I'll choose uh, my language for installation process, I'll say English, accept, I'll say the agreement and here you can specify where do you want to get Mercury installed. So I will leave the default path, next, next, install, and that's all, you have Mercury successfully installed. As you can see now I have the Mercury icon here on my desktop, so I'm going to click on it and let me, this will bring this terminal, uh, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. So as I said, I'm going to keep things simple for the purpose of this, this 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 tutorial. So if you want to get information about how to use Mercury, you can type the Mercury command. And this will bring you a list of commands available for Mercury with a pip description about how, uh, how to use those commands. So if you want to know what are the mods installed in our game, you can use the Mercury list command and this will display a list of all the mods are reinstalled. As you can say, it says I don't have any kind of mod installed yet. So I'm going to install Mercury, pull web install, cop, evolve. Evolve. With this command, Mercury is going to download and automatically install any kind of file and dependency that the cop evolve mod requires. So uh, everything is going to be done automatically. You don't have to mess with your file or everything like that. So I will leave this thing to finish and I will skip to the end of the installation process. So well the installation process is almost done, as you can see it is saying that it is installing, inserting the files for copybob and the last message it throws, it says success package copybob has been installed. This is a message that you have to be sure that it's displayed at the end of the installation process because this confirms you that copyball was successfully installed at the end of it all. So if you, have, if you have any kind of error message or something like that on these messages, take a screenshot of this and send the, send that image to us on the on the Discord server and we can give you assistance and support about getting about overcome those overcoming those those issues. So that should be all. That will bring you Mercury as a way to install mods in an automatic way pulling all of our mods from the repository. So that's all for me. If you have any kind of comments, suggestions, any kind of doubts, you can leave them in the comments below or reach me over the Discord server for shadow mods. So that should be all. So thanks for watching and see you later.